Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and today we'll be looking into how we can actually create different number formats in SQL accounting. So before we begin, do like and subscribe so that we can reach more people and help them maximize their accounting software. Alright, so in this example, we'll be looking into creating a new purchase order number. Alright, so to do this, all we just need to do is come here to Tools, come here to Maintain Document Number, here, alright. So let's find Purchase Order, Supply Purchase Order. And for this example, we would like to add the year year, month month, and we would like the number to reset on a monthly basis. Alright. So actually to do this, we just select your PO, press edit. Alright. So if you want to add the year year, month month, and you want the system to control, you cannot just put say 2208 means it's for year 2022 and for the month of August. Then every month you have to come in here and reset it. So if you want to do it correctly, you need to come here and you need to put here, alias year year month month close it and then after put dash all right so let's say for example now after the year year month month you want how many digits so for this example we want to keep it at three digits so we just press tab all right so the system at the bottom there will actually show you how the numbering format will look like so 2208 is for year 2022 for the month of august all right and the next thing that we would like to do is we like to reset it on the monthly basis. So every month it will reset back to number one. So we press here and we press reset monthly. So yes. Okay. So once done, we just press save and we close it. All right. So now that's done, let's try it out. So we press purchase. We go to purchase order. Press new. And then straight away, you can see now the PO2208001. So let's say if example, the month changed to say uh, September. So we just try and see. Say 1st of September, we press enter. You see the month will automatically change to September. All right. So this is actually how easy it is to manage your document numbers in SQL accounting. Do leave a comment below if you have a topic you would like us to cover. Thanks.